guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, we're going to be port and polishing a Skunk 2 Ultra Race Manifold. Now, from the factory, they come pretty cast up, which is really surprising for a seven, eight hundred dollar uh, manifold. Now, we're going to take a bottle, just a regular soda bottle, two liter, you can get them at anywhere, any uh, grocery store, and for like 68 cents, we're going to wrap some sandpaper around and glue it on there, and it has a nice velocity shape, so we're going to put it in these ports, and we're going to get it so we can shape these uh, ports or runners. Now, you can tell from the factory, I'll show you guys with a closer shot, but it's it's out around. They just take a little Dremel and grind them out and it, poor quality control, I'd say. As you can see right here, they just take a grinder. It's really abrasive. Just hit it up with probably a die grinder. And look at it, it's out around right here. Look how thick it is here and then it's really thin here. So you're not even getting a true velocity. And if you look inside the runners, they leave big chunks of casting and that, that should all be polished out from the factory. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these strips right here in long strips. This is 60 grit paper. You can get a little less. I mean, it's only aluminum, so it's, it's not gonna take much. Also, we're gonna put the bottle in there first. And we're gonna spin it a little bit to rough up the bottle so we can see where we need to put the uh, sandpaper. So right here's where I gotta put it. I can see the lines in it. And I'm just gonna cut it. I don't have any scissors right now, so I'm just gonna cut it with these metal cutters. And just take your strip and run it like that. And you can make little slits in it if you have to so it presses in there. But once you get it in there, it'll, it'll stay in there. So we got two of them. We're gonna take a little bit of crazy glue, run it around, and put it on there. Take a little crazy glue. We're just gonna glue all over the place. That should be enough. Then we'll just take the sandpaper. Go ahead and skip the super glue. I only had the gel super glue, so it took quite a bit longer. But if you have yourself a uh, glue gun, a hot glue gun, just go ahead and zigzag some hot glue on there. And we're putting them long ways at the tip also. And look at that, you're done. I mean, this stuff dries really quick. Make sure you smooth it out because you don't want bumps in there because you want everything to be circular. Here we go, first pass with the bottle. Just put it in there. We're not gonna use any oil right now. We're just trying to see what it's gonna rough up. Oh yeah, wow. Look at that, it's taking the casting right out getting a nice lip we're just trying to get just a nice lip and we're gonna polish out the rest we don't want to make like a, a rivet here because we want it to flow in nice and smooth so we'll make a couple passes just to get the nice velocity shape yeah there we go so here's what we've got so far we've been hitting with the soda bottle you can see the lips are starting to come out pretty nice where the velocity starts. And uh, we've been hitting it with a little bit bigger home. This is three and a quarter. And we get it in there, it's a little tight, but... And you can see how it starts out big and then gets a little smaller, so that puts a little bit of pressure in there and sands it out. Now we haven't put any oil in yet because we're just trying to remove the casting. But on the last polish, we'll put a bunch of maybe engine oil or transmission fluid, polish it up nice. Here's what we got right now. We just did a rough end with the three and a quarter. And then we did a, another rough end with the inch and three eighths right here. And we went in after we kind of used the bottle a little bit and just went around and then went all the way back, flipped it around, did the same thing. No oil yet. Before all that, we used the bottle and kind of angled it so we get around the rim right here. As you can see, it's a lot more symmetrical. Remember, we had a real thick spot here and now it's all rounded out. So here's what it's looking like. You're still gonna see a little bit of the cast, but you can't really feel it at all anymore. So it's nice and smooth. Um, casting usually is indented, so that's not gonna 
do too much of uh, a difference with the velocity. But here's where we're at, and it's, it's looking way better than before. So I'm gonna take the three and a quarter inch bone right here, and take some just gear oil, motor oil, whatever. I'm gonna throw it in here like this. I'm gonna try to start it. All right, and this is really gonna polish it up really well. So that should be enough for that. extension, quarter inch socket, and we got a buffing rag. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this somewhere in the middle over top of the quarter inch extension, put the socket over it, smack it in, they'll throw the rag over top and just stuff the rag kind of evenly in there. And if it gets too wobbly, you kind of want to spread it out a little bit. There we go. And you're just going to go in and out. What that's going to do is it's going to polish it up. Here's where we're at right now. We've been working on it for a couple hours. And we got it pretty smooth. Later we're going to hit it up with some 1000, 2000 grit and some polishing rags and try to get a mirror finish and then that'll be it. But other than that you can even run it like this. It's really smooth to the touch and it'll flow quite a bit better. <laughs> 